Okie doke. Yeah, sorry about the glare and you're going to notice when I start uh, moving things around that this table you're going to see here, it's not, it's just a fake, oh, it's just terrible, but um, it's what I'm using. Um, yeah, this is probably going to be the second last update because I think the, the next one will be it's completed. Um, what can I say? Okay, so it was skill level 3 out of 5. It's my second model. Hold on, I'll put it um, a bit there towards there. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, it's my second model, um, and I did a lot of uh, things wrong, and I hopefully will remember what I did wrong. Uh, let's. And I, you know what was so nice? I got to talk about this. Um, uh, actually, that's a good thing. I could put my, kind of really, I was trying to think if I put my hand off to the side, I could get rid of that glare somewhat, um, a little bit. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, one of my colleagues at work, just at the very end, I, uh, we were about to uh, call uh, the end of a, a meeting or whatever, we were just uh, him and I, and um, we ended up, I got to show him this, and we got the chit-chat. He does dioramas. Um, 1 to 72 scale uh, World War II stuff and it's just bizarre how we just ended up talking about it but um, so anyways here we go so uh, yeah I like I was saying to him there's lots of things I, I, I did wrong I didn't uh, I forgot to wash the plastic and lots of time it I think it in an odd way worked it helped me for trying to get some kind of pseudo look for the um, uh, oil based uh, enamel based uh, look that you would have uh, would have uh, you know actually really got but you know here I am using acrylic paints I used every uh, almost all deco arts I used a I used one um, one of the Vallejo model paints or whatever I kept I bought one of those and I had uh, the entire I, well not the entire collection or whatever it was the starter collection hold on I'll go grab one I only kept a few of them I just love the colors and I gave the rest to uh, somebody at work to give to their uh, partner so these are the only uh, non well I use some like super even lower grade uh, than deco art like you know uh, no name uh, dollar store stuff so I really really enjoyed the game color um, Vallejo game color series. I thought they were awesome. Uh, the problem is they're so good quality compared, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to diss um, these guys here. I'm not trying to diss Deco Art, but it's just such a different paint that uh, I, I've i been painting for years with Deco Art. So it's such a different style to paint that the first time I tried, I was just like, what the hell? It just didn't make it was just freaked me right out. And it's such a different learning curve. And I was like, you know what? I uh, I want to go back to my comfort zone. I'm going to say this, though, and you, I'll talk about it later. Uh, well, or I'll talk about it right now. Well, you know what I mean? Talk about it during the video is uh, certain colors. This is the problem with deco art from my experience is the uh, the pigment they use um, doesn't stay in solution very well uh, and certain colors like compared to like the really good paints I find uh, it's just that you know my god I mean come on the cost thing whatever um, and I'm not a freaking I'm not a an expert thingamajig and I, I, I just do what I do um, certain colors are worse uh, I find yellows and certain reds um, uh, are really irritating uh, to you. So, for example, this yellow here, and yep, <laughs> look at this. Look how far different I am from the from the color scheme. It's just pathetic. I'm like, oh well, tough. Um, so that was just supposed to be. <laughs> ah, ah. I just, I did actually start doing the stripes um, here, uh, the flag bit. But I was just sorry, but I just was not happy. So I went, you know what? Screw this. I'm, I found. Um, similar-ish looking plain uh, with these types of colors so I went with that uh, anyways I've this is from experience doing a bazillion uh, miniatures uh, with deco art paints uh, like you have no idea um, so I, I know that the certain yellows are just not this one was good but uh, originally I was using saffron yellow and then bright yellow and they're, those are just no goes they're just so watery uh, in a weird way, and they're chunky. It's strange. It's hard to explain, uh, or maybe not. But well, it is for me. Uh, so I painted this. Well, I you know primed it. Remember, didn't wash properly. 
primed, then um, tan, then then saffron yellow, didn't like the color, then I went to primary yellow, didn't like that color, and then I went to uh, summer squash. Okay, so that's it. So that's what I did. I screwed up the, the decals again. Uh, this should have been f way over here. Um, so I didn't, uh, since I didn't, I'm not doing a proper uh, plane. I didn't put in the, you know, like the Fokker DR1, Jasta, whatever, or whatever the hell it is. I didn't put that in. Um, yeah, I, I, I still tried to do that sur kind of weirdo painted look to the blues and whatnot. I don't think it was done that way. Um, I just, okay, I'm not happy with this. Uh, I'm okay with it and it's still not finished and yet again like I said it's a skill level three I'm learning lots of things that I should have done I should um, really uh, uh, try to play with the parts first um, you know f just take my time um, I think what happened was I really really enjoyed uh, the Academy uh, sop with camel uh, 1 to 72 plane. I really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. And uh, the main problem with me was I assembled it completely, then painted, which was a nightmare. Imagine trying to do a triplane. Oh, Jesus Christ, you'd be back and forth. But uh, I'm not, uh, I love the cockpit. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm really darn happy. I, you know, I did all the little diddly bits. I'm just sad there's, well, <laughs> I guess you wouldn't see it then if it was a pilot in there. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not happy. Um, I'm okay. I got a long way to go. So I got one more coat of uh, this beautiful summer squash. Holy smokes, is it ever nice. Um, and then I've got a ton of things to do. God, did I ever screw up at other things? I didn't I hate. I will say this, though. I had to take the... This is one continuous piece. I had to, like, wiggle it through the middle wing. To, oh, I was just like, this is ridiculous. Um yeah that pissed me off i wish these were two separate pieces um that's it um I, i'm not a big decal person i still need to practice a heck of a lot more i'm sorry if i'm jiggling i'm staring at the uh the model more than anything maybe i should be putting this uh that towards um like i said uh the next one will be in the <laughs> look at this even crooked machine guns maybe that's better for ha <laughs> for hitting i don't know uh, what well actually it would be um um Anyway, so that's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, like I said, it'll be okay. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I did, so I will talk about it later. Um, yeah, I did want to do, um, well, I did find, uh, find out. I, yeah, I don't think I'm ready to do a 1 to 48 yet. I would so wish to do some. I've got some. Uh, oh, my God. I saw 1 to 72 scale DH4 somebody painted. Uh, shoots and ladders. Who made the model? Who was the company? Aurora? Maybe Aurora? I'm not positive. Um, oh my god. It was just absolutely gorgeous looking. Like, you have no idea gorgeous looking. I was just like, oh my god, please, please, I want to want to 70. I mean, I know these are things, oops, are tiny. However, think about this. Uh, the one, the one in seventy two is a freaking uh, a two seater bomber, uh, fighter bomber. So that you know, it's got. Uh, like, I was just like, am I staring at a at a World War One plane because it had like bombs on the on the wing? I just like it just blows me away that, you know, like in anyways, we we're supposed to be talking about this. So yeah, um, I got a long way to to learn about things. It's only my second model, so that's a thing. So here's the the one I would like, and I'm going to do this straight up. Uh, I, um, yeah. Sorry about the glare. Look at that, eh? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, just do it proper, dude. Uh, so that this one, I think I could do, like I said, properly. This is a rodent. I've never done a um, that one before. They look, they've got some nice looking things. Um, this is a Ravel. Um, this guy here. I think I showed it originally. I'm not sure, but anyways, you're gonna see it again. So there you go. It's the four one one six or something. Sorry if I'm. <laughs> I wouldn't watch this big screen. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, that's it, I guess. Uh, the next one will be the final thing. So, yeah, I did find... Um, yeah, I would like to do an Ottoman plane next, which would be awesome. I was going to do... Because it, they did do the false uh, thing, if that's what it's called. Um, but I'm like, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll do that properly and find out another one that uh, the Ottomans used. I'd love to do that, so... That's it. I'm not, uh, like I said, the next one will be, I guess, the final whatevers. Um, 
I'm okay with this and I'm learning um, lots of lots of mistakes like look even here like you can see jeepers jumping out I think these are like crooked uh, just a ton of things um, thank God it's 1 to 72 that's when I was like okay um, yep um, you're not ready for 1 to 48 there's no flipping away so anyways hope you're having a great time and uh, that's that see you later